Welcome to a very important video. It is a very serious video today because we will be discussing business. We're gonna be discussing the improvements we'd like to see in The Sims 4. Really, I'd like to say easy improvements. Like, I'm no game dev, but I feel like these are reasonable requests that would improve The Sims 4. Ideally free, but I don't know. I just thought if we manifest these ideas together, maybe they will come to fruitation. Fruition or fruit fruitation? <laughs> I feel like fruit. So today we're gonna go through 10 easy things The Sims 4 needs that I would like to see in The Sims 4 and hopefully others do as well. Let me know in the comments down below if you agree or if you have any other ideas or requests. Okay, I know I said 10 things, but I actually looked at my list and there's 14. <laughs> there's 14. But that's such a bad number, we'll just round it to 10. Okay, so the first thing I would love to see more of in The Sims 4 is more built-in wardrobes. So I've just built in these three, as you can see here. And these are all from our second ever expansion pack, Get Together. And we haven't had any since. And I was just thinking the other day, we should have more of these. Like these I use in almost every single house. And you know, these, these were a good start. You've got modern a little bit more traditional perhaps, and then a little more compact because these take up four tiles and this one takes up two. But I would love to see more of these, especially in newer packs or in a base game update for players who don't have get together. That would be really awesome to see. And I know we have like plenty of dresses. I feel like we've got enough dresses in the game. Although I, I always like new ones. I quite like this new one. But we've got plenty of dresses. We've also got a few of these more wardrobe looking dresses, uh, the standing up ones, but we just never got any more built-in ones and they're so good. And they even come with a few animations, like you can woohoo in them and kids can play in them and they're just such a great item. So I would love to see more walk-in wardrobes in The Sims 4. I mean, you could even have mirrored ones, although that probably takes up a lot of memory like it put more pressure on people's systems. So we can go wooden, we can go glass. Oh, glass would be nice. Although watching The Sims Woohoo might not be ideal. The next special request I have, I don't know why I'm being so awkward about it. The next thing we really do need, this is more important than probably anything else in this list. At least I think so. More plain wall swatches. So I'm talking about base game. This would ideally be a base game update. And I think it would be so easy for The Sims to do. Like all of these basic wallpapers, I mean, we've got some great colors here, but I feel like I'm constantly reusing the same colors over and over again. And a lot of the colors now are a little bit dated for sure. So I'd love to see this wallpaper, the basic, uh, standards with a white trim. I'd love to see more versions of that. And the other one I'd love to see more is plain but pretty because we are so restricted and some of these colors are just not it. Like sure, this is a lovely color, but this skirting board is not gonna go with many houses. We just happen to be lucky in this room that the flooring's light colored, but maybe that with a white. Um, white's always very safe, I feel. And maybe some more muted colors because these are like really bright. So some good examples would be from the small CC collection by Charlie Pancakes. And I just love all of these colors because they're that little bit more muted, maybe a bit softer, which means you can totally pair them with lots of things. They're very versatile. The white skirting means it will go with everything, but it's still got like punchy black colors, navy, deep red. So it's still adventurous, but just a little bit easier to use and probably more contemporary. I also love this olive green by uh, Little Dicker. What else do I happen to have in my game today? Tiny Twablers have some good ones too. Love that rust. So yeah, I would love to see more of these basic wall colors updated uh, for base game. They should do it on Christmas. No, before Christmas, because Christmas is too far away. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's really not that far. Yeah, I, that would be a really good Christmas present. <laughs> the other thing we could really do with is more siding colors for the basic simple siding because I am so over these swatches. I mean, look, they've done us really well. They are some great colors, but I would love to see some more. Well, actually this one's pretty modern, but I'd just love to see more different options that we can use in the simple siding. 
Even the clapboard would be great to have some more colors too because it's been a while. We need an update and a refresh of just these basic base game um, items. Kind of like with what they did with our windows. This next one might be more of a deli request. I'm not really sure how many people are wanting this as well. Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to see a three tile or four tile width TV console. So what I mean by that is a lot of these tables we can use as TV consoles. So what I mean by that is like one of these kinds of items, but three or four tiles wide. Uh, Cause I believe that they're all two tiles. With Dream Home Decorator, we were able to create a longer TV console using these modular items, which is really cool, but it would be really nice if we could actually lift it off of the ground a little bit to essentially get this kind of an effect. This would be great. Cause this is very common in real life and I'd love to be able to do this in The Sims 4. A lot of people kind of mimic this by using these kitchen cupboards to create a TV cabinet. And um, it's a little clunky. So it'd be nice to just have one object to place down that's super simple and that you can put a TV on top of. I would love to see some more bins for outside. This is a bin, right? Comes in three colors, but could we maybe have another one? And I know, I know we have this technological one, which is great, love that. And I know we have a few others that are perhaps more rustic from other packs. I like the direction these are going in. But yeah, I just thought maybe we could have a recycling looking bin, a compost bin, a green bin, eco-friendly, you know, that could be nice. Even if they don't really work that way, I would just, Love to have them as decor pieces. Uh, and whilst we're on that note, I'd also love to see even more letter boxes. And I know we get letter boxes sometimes in an expansion pack. And I have to say, I absolutely love that. I get really excited. So we do have quite a few, but I was thinking maybe in base game, it could be a nice little update. Uh, Cause I believe it's just these three. And like this one, this classic base game one only has three dark swatches. It'd be so cute if maybe we had even some more swatches added to this or so some color or like kids had painted it kind of like with the seasons mailbox they added some really fun colors to this and I act I absolutely love using this one the only thing is having the stone down here doesn't really suit every house and like like I said these are mundane small items but I feel like it's the little details that make quite a big difference and that I don't know they make me happy and I feel like in real life, a lot of people express themselves through their mailbox. And there's just so many different kinds you could get, like from nature themed ones to industrial ones to homemade quirky ones. What can I say? I like a creative mailbox. This next request could probably come in a future pack, although ideally it would be in the base game. And that is a floor to ceiling bookshelf for all three wall heights. And probably modular, or at least one you can place side by side. Kind of like this idea that we got with Dream Home Decorator. The only problem with these shelves is that there's only two kinds to choose from. And even though they're designed to put side by side, if you place them side by side like this, there's clearly repetition. So you don't want to use them side by side. So you could go like this, but um, then that's basically all you can do. Maybe you can do three of them. And the other clear issue with this is that they don't go to the full wall height, like a real built-in shelf. So maybe if we went up to full wall height, you could stack them, although not without move objects. The bookshelves I actually use the most of these ones because they almost go to roof height. And if I hold down Alt, I can kind of place them together like this. Even though it's clearly a repeated pattern, it's not quite as obvious because it doesn't have, like all the books are kind of in a straight row. Um, the only problem with these is they're very thick. You can see like they're way thicker than these ones. So it's not a very streamlined thing to put in your house. There's only uh, three swatches, so that is pretty, and there's no black and white either, so that's pretty restrictive. I mean, even just giving a black and white swatch for these shelves would be really awesome. And obviously the other issue is they're not 
technically modular. So if you're not using the move objects on cheat, maybe you're not as experienced, so you're playing on console and it's more difficult. It'd be nice if they just snapped together. And then ideally, if they went all the way to perfection, there would be maybe three swatches in the same color, but the swatches just changed the colors or the orientation of the books. So when you put them together, they looked like different things on each shelf. That would be really, really nice to see. Um, I would love that. Even just two, I mean, at the bare minimum, just changing the color of these or even making like a thinner version of it, I would absolutely love. And I feel like we would use it all the time. Just a basic Billy bookshelf. Ikea Billy bookshelf, folks. That's all we need. And then um, for each wall height would also be massive bonus points. This is another thing that I'm surprised isn't in the game, but it's some basic staircase style options or staircase fencing. I'll show you what I mean. So the first thing would be a staircase with a rug on it. Rugs on staircases are very common in a lot of homes. It's usually a more traditional thing. And I believe in past Sims games, we did have stairs with rugs on them. Cause right now we don't have a rug option, but we have lots of like wood and stone and concrete and industrial stairs are really cool. But it'd be nice to have a rug going down one of them. And then the other thing I was thinking that's missing from the game that I look for a lot when I'm building a house, but it's just the idea of having a basic wrought iron fencing option. The closest thing I can find to what I'm thinking is actually this. Uh, but the problem with this is it's clearly wooden, not metal. And it also has these chunky ends to it. So I think it would be great if we just had like slightly thinner metal looking wrought iron staircase balustrade and fencing. And this would be really versatile to use both on the interior and the exterior of the house and in numerous different styles of houses as well. Um, so very similar to this, just a metal classic version. And that would work for both modern houses and also traditional houses. The next thing is more counters. We can never have enough counters, but especially the, the base game needs more counters. I mean, I'm happy to get them in packs, but I feel like the base game deserves them at least for Christmas. And base game counters, modern, without a lip, without the back lip. We, we say no to the back lip. I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay, see this? This looks beautiful, but as soon as you put it against the wall, oh my gosh, what is that? It's a back lip. We don't like the back lip. I mean, we do on some items, but see how much nicer that looks without it, in my opinion. I mean, it's just like a really sad splashback, a sad and impractical splashback. <laughs> so yeah, I would just love to see a very simple base game counter. These, it was great that we had more swatches added to them. That actually made me so happy. I would say the simplest and most versatile kitchen counter is probably this one from Dream Home Decorator. Um, so I guess kind of along the lines of this style. I mean, we do have this base game as well, but there's a few problems with it. One, the back lip. Two, the texture is really plasticky looking, um, you know, and the shading's a little rough. I mean, it's just, it's just an old asset, so that's why. And I feel like if we just had an updated more modern contemporary version, a little bit more stylish. That would be really, really cool to have in the game as well. I mean, my personal preference would be something like these. I don't know, let me know in the comments down below what kind of kitchen counters you would like to see. Uh, or something more Americana, traditional, modern traditional could also be good. I could see a lot of players really enjoying that as well. When you've put in all of your kitchen counters and you, you know, you put in your fridge, you start putting your cupboards in and the fridge is never built in. I mean, probably the nicest fridge we have in the game is this parenthood fridge because it looks like it's kind of built in. What most people will do is they'll put like a half cupboard above the fridge, but usually that doesn't really fit the fridge very well either. Um, it's kind of an awkward size. You can see here there's a massive gap above it. I think this fridge is a little bit lower, so you can actually add two of these, which is really good. But it would be nice to have an actual like fridge canopy or a fridge that goes with the cabinets even. A lot of custom content creators have already started doing this by just making the fridge look built in with the cupboards. 
like full height. Uh, here's some different versions I happen to have in my game from numerous people. But another idea I had to make it more streamlined for Maxis would be this double tile uh, cupboard right here. Maybe this could actually have a hole in it for the fridge to sit inside of um, instead of being like just like a full length cupboard that doesn't do anything um, that you could just like tuck the fridge into. I think that would just make uh, the kitchen's really streamlined. And I actually think that could have been a nice thing for Dream Home Decorator. If they wanted to have a fridge in that, they could have just made a fridge inside of a cupboard, you know? Uh, so then it would all be like super modular and fit in really nicely. And that's one of the things in that pack that I really liked about it. One more thing. Okay, there's a few more things. Another thing is matching flooring to wall tiles. I don't know why, but I feel like this just kind of stopped happening after base game. Like there are few tiles that actually have a matching wallpaper. I think these base game ones, like this pink one, uh, does have, well, kind of matching tiles. They're a little bigger, but they still, they go together, okay? I think these diagonal ones have matching floor tiles as well. Oh wait, no, they just have, do they have matching floor tiles? No, they have the straight, well, I mean, these, these kind of go, so. You know, I'm happy with that. That does look good together. But we have had so many great new tiles added to the game since base game that I just don't know what flooring to put with them. For example, these jungle adventure tiles would have looked amazing with floor tiles. Parenthood, the Moroccan pack, we did actually get some floor tiles. I did forget about that one that go together. But seeing more of this would be so nice. Um, these base game wallpapers, I would love to see matching tiles to go with these, even just added into the game at some point. Because uh, a lot of the time, I just don't know what flooring to put with them. I don't know if I'm the only player with this frustration, but if we had floor tiles that went with this, I would be, I would use it all the time. And I feel like it could potentially be quite an easy thing to add to the game um, and be very, very satisfying to use. While we're on this topic of floor tiles, one thing I've also noticed is we're missing a base game kind of mid brown wood. It's actually really hard to show you guys, but maybe I'm better getting some reference pictures, but I just cannot find this color in the game. I think the closest thing we have is maybe cats and dogs, uh, where we have these kind of mid range browns. I mean, we kind of have them. I'll just put up some reference images, but I see this kind of wood in a lot of homes, especially American homes, and I just feel like it's missing from the game. So I'll put that in there and mention it as well because I'm constantly looking for this flooring. <laughs> okay, the last couple of things. I know I said this was an easy list. As far as I know, things can be much harder than they appear when you are not a developer such as myself who is not. <laughs> but to me, I feel like they're easy. Uh, but these next few things, I don't think they're gonna be easy to put in the game, but I'm still gonna take the opportunity to request them. Can we please, please, please have ceiling paint, please? Okay, all the roofs and ceilings in the game are all white. In other games, you could actually put like timber or at least different colored ceilings in. Like you could basically put floor tiles on the roof and it just, it was so nice. Even just having a, a few different colors, like a black, a brown, just to blend it in a little bit more because it can be really like, whoa, it can ruin the whole build. Uh, and it's also the same when you put in like roofing. Say you put in like, I don't know, a pitched roof like this. Uh, if you go underneath it, you can paint this wall, but then these walls will remain gray and white. And uh, it would just be so fantastic if at some stage it could be painted even just a different block color, especially black, just to make it less stark. I actually didn't mean to focus all on build mode because these next two requests are actually to do with gameplay. This first one's a really weird one. It's to do with relationships. You know how in The Sims 4, when your Sims are in, you know, when your Sims have relationships with other Sims in The Sims 4, they're always equal what they think of each other. So for example, Enzo's relationship with Diamond is exactly the same value as Diamond's relationship with Enzo. But what I would love to see again is maybe Enzo or Diamond don't feel the same way. So perhaps 
Diamond is no longer in love with Enzo, but Enzo is still in love with Diamond. Does that make sense? Like the relationships aren't always equal in both ways because I don't believe it was always like that in The Sims 3 or maybe it was The Sims 2. Maybe The Sims 4 was the first game to actually make it equal. I'm not entirely sure. And I'm sure there's a reason why it's not like that, but I really miss that because it made storytelling and gameplay so much more interesting uh, when Sims didn't feel the same way about each other. And that would just be something I would really love to see again. Cause I think when you're an avid player and you love gameplay, it makes a really big difference. Last of all, my very last request for today is uh, some kind of money management update. I feel like this is something they could put in the game. I've even figured it all out, you guys. I figured out how it could be done, kind of. What I mean by money management is I would like my individual Sims to have their own savings, particularly for like a young Sim before they move out of home, they could then save up their own money to buy a house. And the other thing that I would love to see is inheritance. So when a Sim dies, depending on how much money they were worth, their family members or the Sims closest to them would get a sum or a percentage of money. These could be preset values by the Sim, uh, cause that would make for really saucy gameplay and also really fun challenges and even the potential for different scenarios. So that one, I haven't figured out how it would work. <laughs> I just, I know inheritance was a thing in past games that I always enjoyed, particularly while doing gold digger challenges <laughs> to get the inheritance was really fun. Uh, but the other thing I thought of is, you know, the vault, the money vault from Get Famous allows you to put money in the vault. Like you can go there and add however much you want, like 500 simoleons and you can put it in there. And this is a great way to keep track of your sim savings and earnings. But the problem with this is your everyday sim doesn't want a ginormous vault in their house. <laughs> so could we have like a piggy bank? I'm pretty sure Ravashin made a piggy bank mod and it's just like the vault maybe in a piggy bank. Uh, I mean, it's just the same system, just not the massive <laughs> vault to go with it. Uh, otherwise, the other idea I had was maybe it could be implemented into a phone app. So like a little SIM bank app or something, which I'm sure a modder has already done, but it would be great to have it officially in the game. I think a piggy bank would be adorable, uh, but yeah, that would be really cool. And I don't think it would be too complicated either. Like I think it would be a Maxis match game feature. It wouldn't feel like a mod if it's just like a small item. Uh, smaller than the vault. Uh, yeah, that would be really cool. So yeah, those are all of my ideas. Mostly small, small ideas. Perhaps they're not as small as we think, but I feel like there is potential. So if a sim person happens to come by and watch this video, perhaps you guys should comment down below what you would like to see in the game. Or if you like any of these ideas, uh, I'm actually looking really forward to reading what you guys want in the game. Let's try and keep it doable though. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world. And I can't wait to speak to you all soon. Dak Dak.